so hobby baked none of which I shall be partaking mm -hmm. this is fruit cake and he also made black cake so we had a simple lunch soup because I'm not feeling well but he did this Yippee! Hi guys, so I am still in quite a lot of pain. It's been more than a week and um, I am going to be juicing some celery because I remember the last time I got sick like this with this really bad flare-up. I drank celery and it helped me somewhat so I'm gonna be juicing some so I just have some celery stalks here cut off the ends because they kind of real dirty I don't like putting it in whole but I do cut them up into like manageable and I don't use this white part yeah so this is the juicer I have here brand is this we've had this for quite a while and uh, Hamilton Beach not that I care about the brand really it's just an ordinary juicer so we usually take off the top here I rest the glass there and I will be putting them in here so when I put them up here I use this to press it down I drink it more than once a day. What I like to do is drain. Yeah. Hi guys. So I have not been on here. Oof. I've not been on here because I've been in some serious pain for the past few days. Um, and now we're going to drink this. Yeah, yeah I've been so in some serious pain. Um, well, the last time I would have remembered feeling normal or okay would have been a few days before Hobby's birthday. And then coming up to what that was um, I think it was the day before I started getting some serious cramps that time we month and so on and then that came and that took a long time and then straight after I can't remember if I would have mentioned it anytime I, I might have to go back and check because I haven't been editing I really I just pick up the camera whenever today is boxing day December 26 so I just said let me come on here yeah, I don't even know if this will even reach YouTube but 
I just put in a, a, a record of, of what's been going on with me. Um, yeah, so. So, yeah, after that flare up started, that whole flare up I think started with the. I think, well, it's a, a lot of different things. Again, I can't remember if I mentioned any of this before, if you notice my face. Oh, my face looks nice on here, but it's actually swollen a bit. Yeah, I just have this thing thrown over me because the fan is on and I was drinking something cold a while ago. Anyways, um, what am I saying? Yes, yeah, so... Yesterday, well, Monday, I would have gotten a few bad news. Monday was the what? I can't even remember. The 22nd? Monday was the 21st. So, I would have gotten a few bad news. And they were really... Yeah. I don't even want to talk much about it, but... One of it, we actually started praying. For those of you who followed me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram would have seen that I posted up a sort of mini testimony that God answered the prayer on the Christmas Eve morning. And that just came at the right time. And it's so crazy because this week, despite all this pain <laughs> yeah it's so interesting because despite this week being full of so much pain god came through in so many ways for me for for our family for me personally he answered some prayers that well, more recent, some were as recent as the prayer that answered one of the bad news we got on Monday. And one was something I've been praying for for a little while. And God just showed up and showed out. One of the other prayers that was answered was actually something that I have been I don't even know if I have actually been praying about it because in the back of my mind I was like I've tried so many options I've tried so many things to come up with a solution to this situation and I kind of like maybe this just isn't for me so I let it go kind of right um and i think it was it i think it was Monday. i think on the 22nd i probably checked my email and i realized that i had gotten an email probably the day before and the thing i was waiting for for four years four years you know came true I think was Monday this week as well oh Lord I just want to thank God and give God praise I just want to thank God and give God praise um this week has been a real roller coaster for me because I am praising I'm praising I'm praising I'm praising but to be honest, when you're in pain for so long, sometimes it does feel like, I don't even want to say it, but mm. 
yeah the the pain is just too much um to be honest i am not going to sit down here and pretend like you know oh yes this is gonna i okay i don't even know how to put it i know that god is in control and i know that i know that he answers prayer and i don't want to put a butt behind it but i have been struggling to stay encouraged about this particular situation because sometimes it's just a lot it's just a lot it's pain in my in my shoulders in my muscles whenever i lie down i lie down at the back of my head it's pain when i sit down my back my spine is pain it's just pain all over when i stand up and i walk all my muscles are hurting me and i was trying to remember I, and this i think this the last time i got really sick like this i think it was in 2018 i think it was in 2018 i don't know um yeah and sometimes well this whole year it seems as if almost guys are sorry i just yeah i don't but i don't i don't want to be a debbie downer if this is too much for you you could just click it off right you're not forced to watch this but I just want to be real I don't want people to think that life is is like well especially for people who are on YouTube and for um, social media people and so on well content creators and all these things I don't want people to think that everything is always hunky-dory and everything goes exactly how you want it and every day you're happy and every day that's not the reality well that's not my reality so i'm just sharing my reality right um so I prefer a girl that she gets healed because like i was saying earlier they took, yeah like i was saying earlier 2020 i think from yeah from january mountain and every month and after that around the time with my um that time of the month i have been getting sick twice i end up in the hospital this year january month and in june i've i've never spoken about this publicly twice in june yes in june during a pandemic <laughs> with what I will call a flare, um, serious flare-ups but um, some of it were also brought on by anxiety unfortunately so 2020 has been really 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 hard on me like I talk about 2018 2018 was tough but this year physically and emotionally it was it was worse um and i just want to thank god for bringing me thus far to see the last the last um year the month the last month of the year because i i wasn't sure especially that first time when i ended up in the hospital i wasn't sure if i would have make it i wasn't sure if i would have make it to december so i just want to thank god for that but i also want to ask him for strength to go through this because it's not easy and for those of you who are ill and have so many different things that you're going through 
trust me, you're not alone, you're not alone. And I am saying this to you and to myself to encourage myself that this too shall pass. And that God is in control. I think I have to tell myself that more and more, especially um, within the past few days, because like I would go to bed and think, all right, well, I will wake up feeling better. And it's like I still have the pain. Every time I wake up, I still have the pain. The pain going on all day, morning, noon, and night. And yeah, so it's it's been very tough for me emotionally, physically, yes, but emotionally because it's like I don't know, it's just training. It's just draining. So I want to remind you guys that God is still in control. 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 And this too shall pass. Um, if I could vlog without that noise because the children are on the street so I guess I will catch up with you guys later. So Kevin convinced me to come out of the house. <laughs> Actually I was thinking of taking a drive but I didn't think that I would have still been in so much pain um, today especially so yeah so when i am um, so when i what do you call it when i had the intention of the drive i was more excited and stuff and then i had to change my mind but then he say let's go still so yeah it's very very dark i don't understand what is in here really really dark anyways let's show you guys what um we'll show you guys what um wherever we go we just probably going to see lights and stuff and lights
Hey guys, um, currently editing this video and realized that I did not close off the vlog again. So I just wanted to come on quickly and say thank you so much for watching and I wish you a happy holiday season. All right, take care and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Be safe guys.